the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you, man. I had, we had a great study today. We're talking about the fact is that, and let me see if I can bring up the uh, the slide. But the main thing is this. We need to be able to encourage one another. We really need to make sure we don't be deceived to do and go to the contrary of the doctrine of Christ. There's so many things I'm looking at in the past, and the past discrimination, everything else. It's all because people said that it's more important to, to this, be deceived. It will be to be deceived, willingly not study the word of God, willingly not understand the doctrine of Christ, and start to go after the doctrine of men. Sometimes we talk about the different political parties. We would do, we'll go with the things of a political party where it's okay to hate, it's okay to discriminate, it's okay to do all the bad things. Because you think about it, some of these political parties start all the way from the Atlantic slave trade, start all the way from 1776, start all the way when this first country brought in slaves or brought in indigenous servants. And said those things that they do atrocities toward mankind. All the bringing division, all the bringing of strength. And then all of a sudden we went through the slave trade, the sex plantations, the, the atrocities, the, 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 the brutalization. It's just not acceptable and contrary to the doctrine of Christ. And I'm trying to sit there and say to you, let us do the things that make for peace. Let us do the things that are puts into the doctrine of God. So that's what the study is about today. The fact is, let's not be duped. Because so many people have been duped. So many people have been deceived. So many people have lied to and tricked to do things and ignore the teaching of Christ. I'm saying is, let's see what, and I'm just saying it right now. Go by what the Word says. Does the Word tell you to discriminate? Does the Word tell you to hate? Does the Word tell you to not forgive? Or does the Word tell you to forgive? Does the Word tell you to love? That's the doctrine and teaching of Christ. And if you are operating outside of that, and you feel that it's okay because you're approved by man, I'm telling you, it's not man that's going to get you in eternal life. It's not man's doctrine. It's not political parties, not the color of skin, but it's the love of God. Follow the doctrine, people. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Hey, have a great, happy Father's Day. Joy, Juneteenth, tomorrow, 19th. Juneteenth, 19th. Tomorrow, reflect on it. We've got a lot of bad things went behind those people getting to the point where they can celebrate freedom. And then that's appropriate to be able to have a day of celebrating the, 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 the long so that we can celebrate the right that we're all free. And yet, even though we had to make an amendment, we're all free so that on the 4th of July, we can all say Independence Day. Every man being independent to choose. And God gives you the right to choose. And that choice is life through Christ. Amen. God bless you. Appreciate you listening. And we'll see you when we see you. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll break this down to like A, B, C, and D, as always, so that you enjoy. So enjoy the study. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye bye. Yes, sir. <laughs> but that's why they celebrate it. Because they, once you go, know, once they found out they were free. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, uh uh. I ain't going back. Yes, sir. And, you know, tell me, they, I mean, they even chase people and call a runaway slave. Mm -hmm. even, though they, even though the man went, the general went and sent his soldiers throughout Texas to tell people, this is the proclamation based on Lincoln's emancipation. Yes, sir. All men, all former slaves, are now free. They, 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 they have the rights 
and like everybody else. And you know, talking about look up that's what the gym, that's what the uh, Jim Crow laws are all about, right? I mean, yes, sir. To keep keep them from voting. How many people fought to vote uh, and been killed to go vote? Yes, sir. Now, we we have come a long yes, sir. This this is a long way, and um, it is something for us. But yeah, other people are gonna get into it too. But I think it's a good day of reflection, to tell you the truth. Yes, you sir. Know? And then see, that's that's the way I look at it. I yeah. I don't wanna have all this flashing. Sit back yeah. and think about what, what what happened. Yeah. And what you're going yeah. through. And the main thing is it ain't been that long ago. Yeah. Now now as far as the establishment that is a national holiday, but like you said, it was something that was always done. I didn't even think about the fact that, like you said, reunions and all that other stuff was done during that time period because it was a time where they was trying to get their families back together. Yes, sir. Because so many of them were what, sold. <laughs> Some of them don't even yes, know sir. whether they, you know, spent, I, I, I just found out reason about the, 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 the plantation stuff, you know? Oh, I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even know that it was, it was that. Uh, they had a whole bunch of those. And yes, those sir. Females had to, you know, be impregnated by seven men, sometimes even slave owner, mm -hmm. participated in it uh, to breed more slaves. You know, because yes, slave trade was already, it was a certain point where that was what stopped, right? The English mm -hmm. had it, we, we tired of this. This, y'all just stop this. This ain't, this ain't right. And they, and they knew it wasn't right, right? They knew it wasn't right yes, from the beginning, but they finally decided that this ain't right. This just, this is a crime against humanity, which is the greatest crime against humanity in this world. Uh, mm -hmm. it, what Hitler did, it, that doesn't, that, that doesn't compare no, I agree. to the atrocity that was done, you know? So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I really think you're coming from it. And then once again, Chris, is, is, how does somebody call themselves a believer in the doctrine of Christ doing that? That's, that's, that's really what I'm calling. That's why I say you must, I assume people have been duped. Yeah, well, that's what you said. They they prey on what we call human nature. Mm -hmm. And just dupe them. Yeah, they've been deceived and tricked and think yes, it's sir. okay. So that's why I'm reading this. I'm finished reading this and then I'll, I'll close out on it. It says, uh, 17, for God sent not his son to the world, but that through the world, uh, uh, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned, what, already? Because since the fall of man, right? Since Adam and Eve, if you don't believe, you condemn already. Because yes, he does not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is, the, and they're going to tell you what the combination is. And this is the combination, people, that call yourself Christians. This is the combination. That light is coming to the world. And men, what, what is that, Chris? And men love what? I got to make it big so I can see it. Because I'm on the phone. Yeah, verse 19. If men love what? Men love darkness rather than mm. light. Yeah, because of their deeds were evil. evil. So that's how people could have done the thing they were doing because they love darkness rather than light. He said, everyone that, that does this evil hates the light. Neither comes to the light <laughs> unless his deeds should be reproved meaning checked out by God, right? But he that does his truth comes to the light that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wroth in God. And what do you mean wroth in God? Because it means that now God can work with that, right? In other words, come as you are. Now, I know one, one brother don't like that saying, come as you are, but <clears throat> that's, you, if, if you can change without coming to Christ, what you need Christ for in the first place, right? 
So you you got to come as you are. And then you got to let God work with you. That's what you were talking about is that, you know, that work your own salvation. Work those yes, issues. Sir. But you got to work those with God. And, and people should eat. I think what I'm saying for everybody else, we should work with everybody, pray for everybody, because we all got things we need to work on. That, that's how I look at it. We all got things we worked on, and we don't. We can't force people to. Can I? Can I? Can I ask this? I know this can't be in the past. Can I make you change? Oh no, not at all. No, not at all. I, I can't make a person. You, in other words, some believers believe that they can kill people to change, Chris. That's, yes, that's what they've been doing. They they think that well, if I just be rude to you, or if I can ostracize you, if I can put you out, and if I can select some things to put out, then I can guilt the rest of you to start doing the right thing. You know, oh, you went to the yes, club sir. last night. Uh, um, how dare you? Yeah, I know you. Did you ever heard that one before? How dare you come in? You went to the club last night. How dare you come in the church today? Oh yeah, come on. all the time. Come on. Back. And you know the thing about it is, I'd rather them come to church instead of not coming to church. Mm -hmm. But they, they play these. That's what I'm trying to say, church people. Y'all, people. Hopefully, maybe the fact they don't want to come to church, but ain't nobody growing in there in the first place, Chris. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe that's why. That could be the fact. We we didn't bring you out here to grow. We 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 just brought you in here so you can turn that money in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. I, 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 I need the money. But it's funny. Mm -hmm. They need the money. They need to say, yeah, you you go to the club and they'll come in here. And give me give me some of that club. <laughs> give me some of that club. Money. Yes, sir. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the study tell you to don't come in. Come on in. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll grow. You know, and, and that's that's the that's the flavor that I'm trying to give with people. You know, uh, and then mm -hmm. I like this. Look at John. Uh, can you can you can you bring can you bring it expand it for John seven twenty four? What what what? Because that kind of goes against the the doctrine of, of discrimination. What, what was that that last one down the bottom? That John twenty one on mine. From what I'm looking at, three twenty one. You see, you see John seven twenty four. No, I don't. That was not pulled up for me. It's on the same slide. You see, so yours only go to twenty-one. Yes, sir. Well, now I see it. Now I had to turn the page. All right, John seven and twenty-four. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Judgment. In other words, not to the appearance, right? Not on the outside, but the doctrine is to judge people according to the inside amen yes sir that's what that's what i like about the gospel that's what i'm trying to say that the, the doctrine is is simple the doctrine is not for judgment the judgment is for repentance and and you can't make nobody you ain't gonna make put away i know i can tell y'all you, you ain't gonna make chris repent by I know you're gonna feel by you tackling them. If you if you feel like that, <laughs> you you I think you might run into some problems. I I I I believe that you will run into yeah. some problems. Yeah, you're gonna meet just, some resistance. <laughs> some resistance. Get, you will get you will you will like you remember that scripture said give and it shall be given. <laughs> Good measure, press hell shaking and yes, sir. That that doctor yes, that doctor ain't just for money people. Exactly. <laughs> if you want to give hurt, you might get hurt. Yes, sir. And it could be shaken down, running over the men giving to your bosom. Because you're not planning, you know, you're not planning life. If you want to give love, you'll get love. If you want to give friendship, you'll get friendship. But if you want to give hate, you're going to give hate. You're going to get hate. You yes, know? sir. And then the final hate is when you got to go before God. And then it's judgment time. And I, I just want to say, hey, the, the, this holiday, first of all, Chris, just in case you didn't catch it earlier, I said, everybody, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's uh, Day to you, my bro. Yes, sir. And, and the other piece is to, to just, 
let people know that uh, June 19th, this holiday tomorrow, uh, is a reflection day. It, it, and and I, I don't have a problem with, with, with those rejoicing. The fact is we're celebrating the freedom that coincides with the next month of what it should have been for everybody was we're called independence. Yes, sir. Of July. Yes, sir. Where all of us supposed to been have declared independence. But unfortunately, a lot of us were not. You know, and I think that's, Chris, I think that's the bigger reflection is the fact is that it didn't apply to everybody. Yeah, well, and here's my thing I keep saying, and this is just a political jab as well. We're still an amendment, bro. brother. Remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 It's just making what was wrong right. That's the best we can do. And that's what it should be done. Because man is not, what do you call it, infallible. He is, mm -hmm. he gets shortfalls. And, and, and therefore, that's why you don't want to, that's why I think that's when it said that Jeremiah, when I read you, he said, curse a man that trusts a man and make his man his flesh. Because of that, you, you, you can't keep now, doing I cut off. Huh? I had got cut off for a second. Okay. The whole point is that's why I, I read that when we heard about Jeremiah 17 5, which said, Curse is a man that trusts is a man, you know, and making mm -hmm. his flesh his own and his heart departed from God. That that's that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. The doctrine of this gospel is not to trust in man, but trust in God. And not to, to operate in doctrines, but operate in light. And to recognize that God didn't come to die for the godly. He came to die for the ungodly. And that's why we need to be able to do the same thing for one another. And, and that's why I put that baptism about the uh, give and shall be given. <laughs> if, if you want to give love, the brother will give you love. But don't, 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 don't try it. Don't try it. Because don't hurt somebody because all you're gonna get is hate back. All you're gonna get is that resistance. Because you yes, can't sir. make people you can't make people. You can't make people Christian. And then you can't make Christians uh, do right while you do hey, but here's the problem. You can't make somebody do right while you're doing wrong. Yes, sir. That's that's the bigger piece. And some yes, of us said, well, I didn't go to the club. No, but but you, you hated somebody. You lied to somebody. You did something. You cheated on something. And yet you, you're going to sit there and try to single out. Yeah, that's what they like people to do, right? Isolate something. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and then put that down. So I, I just want to close with that. But you, I'm going to do, I, I don't know if you've seen my videos lately. What I do is I do a little commentary and everything afterwards. So I'm going I'm okay. to I'm wrap it up. Uh, and, and kind of summarize what we just talked about. Uh, okay, my brother. Well, you have a great out. day. You too. Enjoy your Father's Day and, and uh, enjoy your tomorrow holiday, June 10th. Day. All right. Thank All you, right. my God brother. Bless, bless you. Bye. Bye. Amen. You, you know, uh, I, I, I just wanted to. To, to, to start wrapping it up and get ready to uh, we'll celebrate the uh, Father's Day ourselves. Uh, get ready to go and to get some good food to eat. Uh, but I, I want to make sure I reflect on those scriptures we had. And and just in case some people really didn't get it, I, I had a set of scriptures that I wanted to make sure that was put in there. Uh, a lot of people really love uh, the teaching of Paul. And I liked it, and I was reading it the other day, and I wanted to, to read it, and then maybe go over it next week or so forth. But uh, I think these scriptures, too, need to be also included. Uh, first is uh, Luke, then we go to Paul. This is uh, Luke teaching about judging others. And that's basically what I was talking about when I talk about the title. Uh, and, and I wanted to be, I'll probably cover these next week if I could, if the Lord's willing. 
and he leads me to it. But I, I wanted the scripture that was given in preparation for the study and discussion. So I'll read those real quick. And then we'll just go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, this is Luke 6, 37. It says, Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Now for you, those are people who take the doctrine of judging people, condemning people, and those who did those things and atrocities of the past where they condemned people, where they killed them, and they all kind of atrocity to them. It says, you shall not be condemned if you, if you don't condemn, but there's a lot of people teaching their children and not recognizing the, their parents in the past because they did condemnation. They did things. I'm just saying, this is what they did. The, the atrocities, and this is what some people do on either day, even systematic discrimination, all that other stuff. It says here, judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. That's the one we were talking with Chris about. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, rubbing over some men get into your bosom. But just remember that giving is not just money. That's what some of the prosperity preachers are using. This is talking about it. You give friendship, you give love, you give patience, then it's going to be given to you. But if you don't give those things, then you're going to get the same thing that was done to you. But it says right here again, you said, 38, Give and shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shame gather, run over your men given to your bosom. But with the same measure you met with all, it shall be measured to you again. And he spake a parable to them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they both fall? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? Don't follow people as blind. Christ has pointed you the way. The way is Christ. John 14, 6. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets, no one comes to the Father but by me. And I like what the old preachers said there said, if Jesus is the way, you can't get lost. If Jesus is the truth, you can't be deceived. If Jesus is the life, you can't receive death. This is similar to that when they say, can a blind lead a blind and shall they not both fall in the ditch? Stop falling, following blind people. Help open the eyes of a blind. Let your light shine so they can see too. And as, sometimes it may be ministers you have to open the eyes to see. 40 says, the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. So you want to be as Christ, not as people. And why beholdest the mote that's in our brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that's in our own eye? Either how can thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the boat in thy eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam in thy own eye, and then shall thou see clearly to pull out the boat that is in thy brother's eye. We all of us got different beams in our eyes. Nobody that I know don't have a boat that leads in their eye. So let's work, focus on getting the things that instruct us from seeing clearly out of ourselves first before we start trying to correct somebody or help somebody else out. And I say pray for one another, encourage one another because that's what it wants to do. Not endorsing sin, but just trying to get it help people to hear, you know? And it, if it goes same thing here in Romans 14, 1. Him that is weak in faith receive ye, but to know, but not to doubtful disputation. For one believes that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eat his herbs. Let not him that eateth despises him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him to eat us. For God has received them. Who art thou that thou judges another man's servant?
to whom all master he standeth and falleth. Yea, he shall be holding up, for God is able to make him stand. One man is seen one day above another, another is seen every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded where in his own mind. He that regards the day, regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he does not regard it. He that eateth, eateth not to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not and giveth God thanks. For none of us live unto himself, and no man dies to himself. For whether we live or die unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set a not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us should give an account of himself to God. Do not cause another to stumble. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block on an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and I'm persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteems anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charmingly. Destroy not him with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen? So we just want to wrap this with these last scriptures right here. For he that does... For he that is in these things serves Christ and the Son of God, and approves of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroys not the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man that eateth with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby that brother stumbles or is offended, or is made weak. Has thou faith? Have it to thyself, for God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And that's, that's what we want to close up with. And that's what I want you to remember, is the fact is we don't judge and condemn one another. We love one another. We work with one another. Amen? All right. So thank you for listening. We'll probably cover those scriptures again uh, next week, if the Lord is willing. But the fact is, don't be duped. Don't be deceived. Trust in God. Love one another. Encourage one another. So that we can all meet on high. It's all nations, all families, all tongues, all kinders. Let's not take the man construct, because man construct, social construct, can send you to eternal death. And I fear that so many people, especially since the Crusades, all the way up to now, generations and generations, I'm afraid. Some of those people are not with the Bible. The Bible says absolute, absolute, absolute body is present with the Lord. That's only if you're in the Lord. And the Bible says the tree is no mass for you. Amen. Hey, we all got things to work on. But the main thing we can at least work on is not to condemn one another.
but encourage one another. That's what I want to say. God bless you. I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. Have a great holiday. Happy Father's Day. Happy June 19th. Enjoy it. Reflect on it. And rejoice. Freedom is for everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.